Welcome to The Voice. My name is Habil Machengo and this week we have a special guest, a guest who is able differently, a guest who we are going to learn more about her life, her life journey. Make sure to get more about this right now. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Uh, introduce yourself. My name is Margaret Wangu Iwancheko. Okay. This is The Voice Show and in this show we aim to empower people, especially persons with disability, through other people's stories. And maybe before we focus on your story, can you please kindly tell us about how you grew up, where you grew up, and how has life been? Okay, kama kama vile nimesema kwa majina yetu Margaret wangu Wanjiko. Nilizaliwa Nairobi, mtaa wa Dandora Phase 5. Tukatoka hapo tukaenda Kariobangi. Yeah. Tukatoka Kariobangi tukaenda Ishagi Katondo. Tukatoka Katondo tukaenda tukakuja Thika. Okay. So what was the reason for the shift? No, no, we shift from Dandora to Kariobangi to Gatundu North. Eh? Mm. I do not allow size you could take why the shifting what was the reason okay the reason mm. from dandora mm. ni kwa my mom walikuwa na nyumba huko kariobangi yeah. tuka shift tukaenda kariobangi kwa hizo plot zao yeah. so from the kariobangi akawa msiki kabidi twende kishagi mm -hmm. so after kwenda kishagi ndo akazidiwa akapass mm -hmm. so tuka move on thika na family yangu the rest okay and in your family mko ngapi and ni namba tuko watatu na mimi ndo wa mwisho na so between kariobangi dandora gatundu and vika wapi ndio ume grow umekaa sana Nidhika. where did you grow up tunaweza sema hapa ndio ule grow ndio ule grow ya up ni vika vika ndio tumekaa miaka mingi mm -hmm. mm. but where you, where were you born nairobi dandora dandora mm. how was life then able to realize about your life your school journey Okay shule nilianza uko Dandora yeah. lakini sasa siwezi kumbuka jina mm. Uwezi kumbuka jina shule ya shule oh, nilikuwa yeah? eh, nilikuwa mdogo uh -huh. Kariobangi sikwenda shule mm. eh, uko Gatundu pia nilisoma like one term so kutoka hapo nika tu, tu, nika after my mom pass nikapeleko Joy Town Primary School hapo mm. ndo nime grow kutoka class 1 to class 8 nikamaliza class 8 nikaenda Joytown Secondary School mm -hmm. nikatoka kutoka form 1 hadi yeah. form 4 mm -hmm. so after that nika join college 2017 yeah. eh, success professional institute mm -hmm. nikamaliza last year ilikuwa nimeweza 2020 but because sababu ya corona yeah. so nikamaliza last year uh -huh. mm. na ibu you have just said that you grew up very well in Vika eh Vika ulikuwa watu wote ndio ulienda Vika Okay after before niende dhika kabisa mm. after my mama ali passed yeah. nilika bado kishagi na one of, one of my aunt kishagi nao gatundo north ya mangu sasa yeah. nilika uko kutoka i was class 1 nikasoma class 2 3 yeah. kwenda class 3 nikaenda nikarudi dandora kwa aunt yangu mwingine yeah. phase 2 mm. nikaka uko class uh, 4 5 that was after your mother passed. Eh, mm. four, five, nika kujadika sana my sister so kutoka hapo mm. until now. Okay. Ebu sasa tuambia, I know when your mother passed away, mm. your life changed, did it? Eh, ili change kabisa. Ebu tuweleze, what was the condition, what was the situation after your mother went, life ilikuwa hard? Ilikuwa hard kabisa. <laughs> ilikuwa hard, unajusa mm. mtoto na mamake, mm. and mtoto na bimbelezo sana. Yeah. Na pia nilikuwa na maswali mingi kusababu, nina move from this family to another one, from this family to another one from this area eh yeah. sasa so ilikuwa ilikuwa na challenge sana so yeah. sikuwa najua what is happening mm. no na mm. eh so though you are young najua you couldn't really understand much about life but while growing <coughs> up, up after your mother passed away life ilikuwa aje were you still able to did you find someone to support you to stay with you provide for you how was life about you, economically okay economically mm. Eh, wakati tuliishi na sister yangu unajua sa life ilikuwa different kabisa so ilikuwa chini but alikuwa na supportiwa na my two aunts and, and, and my brother kama kuna hitaji anahitaji vitu anawaambia eh, your brother yeah my brother the, you, the eldest yeah anakuwa anafanya kazi ama eh alikuwa anafanya kazi alikuwa na hotel 
Mm. So you can proudly say your brother ndiye amewasaidia sana. Kabisa kabisa kabisa. Mm. Yaani nani amekulea after your mother? Who took her? Who took over after your mother? Wacha nisemeni wacha nisemeni my sister kwa sababu ni tumeishi naye miaka mingi. Mm. Mm. So nani ndo first born? Mko watatu. Tuko watatu. My nani? sister ni ya first born then my brother okay. then mimi. So mkaenda mkaishi na sister yako? Eh. Ni wapi dhika? Eh tuliishi dhika mm-hmm. a place kulitoka mm-hmm. 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 ya ngombe. Tukatoka ngombe. Tukaenda makongeni. Tukatoka makongeni saa tuko Kiganjo. Mm. Okay and if you don't mind maybe allow me to ask you what kind of a disability do you have? Niko na physical disability. Mm-hmm. Mm. And is it acquired? Is it natural? Ni natural. Ni natural. Mm. Right? Okay and in terms of your disability have mm. you faced any challenges while being in your condition? Challenges. Normally we just kwanza to focus on utotoni from childhood mm-hmm. to now. What are the challenges you faced when you were a child up to now? Challenges ambazo nilipatana nazo ni watu wale wanaangalia mtu, unaona? Wale unatembea, watu wanakuangalia, unapata watu wanakusengenya, unaona? But ju ni natural ni uzaliwa nayo. So I kwa like stressful kwangu, mimi nilizoea. Eh na pia eh watoto ambao tulikuwa tunaishi pamoja na wao walikuwa wanikubali wananiita tunacheza so wao ndio walinimotivate wali yeah. wa, nikaona kweli disability is not an ability mm. so motivation to <coughs> keep going yeah? Yeah. okay and at what age did you really come to realize ah <coughs> wacha wafanye venye wanasema wacha waniangalie it's me lazima maisha i move on what what really motivates you to push on in life despite your condition eh uh, ni acha niseme pia ni marafiki yeah. but unaona ju nilisomea a disability school mm. kutoka class 1 to form 4 na ilikuwa boarding school yeah. so wakati nilikuwa tunafunga shule singetoka nje mm. singetoka nje kwa sababu singetaka watu waniangalie so attention. yeah mm. so nilikuwa tunacheza the same area but si mbali mm. unaona mm. but after form 4 wakati nilijoin college ju nilijoin uh, shule ya, ya watu wako sawa mm after hapo sando nili jikubali okay si satisfied na jikubali but hapo au ambao tuliishi na tulisoma na eh walinipatia confidence kabisa mm. so hata ukiniangalia uniongelele uni i don't mind you mm-hmm. mm. and now ukiwa have you ever been in a situation where <coughs> because of your condition right mm-hmm. ume face challenges mm. say umejaribu ku access kitu fulani maybe job maybe mm. kazi fulani hustle ujisaidie mm. but because of your condition imekunyima hiyo chance have you been in that situation hata kama ni shule wapi anything uh, yeah nimeshikuwa na hiyo situation mm. after form 4 yeah. june nilikuwa na dreams nasema after form 4 mm. nenda computer packages na nenda college nimaliza college yeah next? Yeah. but vitu hazikwenda hivyo uh-huh. so kuna yule mama ambaye mm. alishikunishughulikia na mambo ya school fees yeah. so after form 4 pia tukashughulika na tukapata college ambayo amba ilikuwa Nairobi mm. na college ikalipwa shule ikalipwa mm. so after kulipwa mm. nilikuwa juu natoka dhika mm. so sisi kwa natoka dhika tu Nairobi kila siku nda shule yeah. eh tukamuuliza kama anaweza kuwa na lala huko mm na kakata kabisa akakata mm. the, the principal, the principal. Mm. akakata kabisa mm. so after that moment okay sasa tukakubali na tukapata mahali ambapo nitakuwa na lala eh uh, huyo mama alikuwa rafiki wa familia yetu yeah. so kila kitu ko prepared i don't know what happened huyo mama akakosa na familia yangu so that opportunity ikaishia hapo mm. so nikarudi dhika mm. nikakuwa niko hivyo sijui mwanzo sijui mwisho mm but finally nikapata college kwa sister yako yeah mm. kwa kuwa una mali pa kwenda sina mali pa kwenda sina mtu ananiuliza unataka nini mm hebu sasa tuambie ulika <coughs> uli, uli tama miaka kadhaa because of your condition before you found a solution to move on to another step in life 3 years 3 years mm. at home mm. ukifanya hakuna nazunguka tu eh yeah. unatafuta hustle maisha yako hata sitafuti mm. like nilikuwa nime lose hope na kato na sisi tako alikuwa anachukuliaje that situation where you, are, you have nothing to do mm. you have nowhere to go because of that alikuwa tu ana encourage na just happy alikuwa busy mm-hmm. kwa sababu number one ni single mother so akona watoto pia mm. na alikuwa busy na kazi 
So ndio ukaamua tu katafuta hebu sasa tuambie when did you now land on the opportunity ya ku move on na maisha nilikuwa step yeah mm. nilikuwa na rafiki ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa kwa CDF ya yeah, office za MP mm. so nikamtafuta mm. nikaenda kumsalimia akana mm. mimi uangalia college ambayo inaitwa Success Professional Institute mm. siku tema nani ndio mm. nilikuwa nime lose hope saa kurudi nikirudi nyumbani nikiwa tu yeah. mtaa town nikaiona mm. nikasema wa hii ni shule ambayo niliambiliwa yeah uh-huh. nikapitia huko ndani nikawapata wakanielezea nikawaelezea mimi niko niko na disability natafuta college yeah eh na lakini sina mtu akulipa school fees yeah so uelezea <coughs> nani exactly who did you address while in the school wale ambao nilipata nilipata secretary mm. na majamaa wengine hapo oh wenye uwezi eleza eh, eh. mm-hmm. so akaniambia yeah. endo kuja kesho kuja na vitabu mm. na na kuja kesho principal atakuwa huko so wakati nilienda mm. wakati tu nilitoka naye principal akaingia yeah. lakini hatukupatana akaambiwa akaelezewa akakuwa so in touch toka nipigia simu akaniambia principal anataka kuona kesho yake mm. wakati nilienda huko alikuwa amekafurahia nikamuelezea shida zangu yeah. na baada ya hapo mm. akaniambia ukuze na vitabu mm. na utakuwa na lipa school fees kwanza kusoma yeah. college college hivyo tu hivyo tu hawakukuitisha pesa ya anything hakuna hata hata hiyo ya administration nini hakuna waliambia yeah. mm. tukuje tutashughulikia eh yeah. mm-hmm. mm. Okay and was the school inclusive ama ilikuwa tu for everyone? Ilikuwa for everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So kwenda pale maisha yakakuwaaje sasa you are in college now. Sasa najua niko Kwanza college. Kwanza upasu. Nikienda hapo siku hata najua kwa sababu nitafanya. Yeah. Siku najua. Waliniuliza so mimi nikawaambia mimi nataka ICT. Niko like yeah. Uh-huh. Kwa niambia mm-hmm. okay what if you, you take uh, human resource management? Mm-hmm. Wewe ni principal alikupea option? No. The, the secretary oh, nikamuliza eh? yeah, yeah. nikawebu nielezee ni kuhusu nini akanielezea mm. so nikamwambia nikamwambia ni sawa na maisha ilikuwa so umepata college uh-huh. you found a new place you are happy how was life there then okay life new life sasa yeah life huko mm. haikuwa ngumu mm-hmm. but nilikuwa na uogo uogo na just <coughs> sijawe interact na watu mm. wengine nje yeah nilikuwa tu nimezo wale tu tunaishi nao area moja yes. so nilikuwa tu nafika na kaa peke yangu mm. siongi na mtu yeah. you had no friend before you nilikuwa mgeni <coughs> sikuwa na friends at ile sasa unaitwa nani hapana nikae mahali mm. mtu akuja niuliza ninataka nini naitwa nani hivyo mm-hmm. but vile tu miaka ilende kisonga yeah. nikao na marafiki huko mm. wakawa wananielewa pia wana wamenikubali mm. Yeah, no, let's go away. We got what is. Yeah, kabisa. Yeah. Kabisa nikitaka anything. Wananiambia mm. tunatoka tunatembea, tunaenda nyumbani pamoja. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Okay, were you commuting ama you were living in the school? Nilikuwa naenda nyumbani kila Nikuwa siku. Nyumbani. Eh. Vika. Kiganjo to the town. Kiganjo to the town, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, na sasa let's talk about your career. You wanted ICT. Mm. Ukaambiwa kuna HR hapa, mm. Human Resource Management. Mm. Ni ilifanya ili kufanya uamue sasa wache ni shift to unajua HR after umekataa umekataa passion yako ya ICT. Unajua mwanzo wakati mm. nilikuwa form form nilikuwa nataka tourism. Hiyo mm. tu ndio ilikuwa passion yangu. Mm. So wakati nilikuwa naende hiyo ile college ambayo nilikataliwa wakaniambia yeah. tourism si marketable. Yeah. So ICT ndio poa. Mm. Okay, okay wacha nifanye vile wanata, wanataka. Wanataka. Yes. So wakati nilikuja huku mm. wakaniambia ICT ni mambo na computer. Mm ene itakuwa very hard for you kutumia computer very fast unaona yes. yeye mm. niko na hiyo ni idea poa akaniambia chukua HR mm. akanielezea mm. na niko na niko spoa mm. and ulichukulia aje jo maybe wanaweza kuwa walikwambia because of your condition you know mm. they were looking at how to handle a keyboard something like that na wakaona maybe hautaweza au kuichukulia vibaya sikuichukulia vibaya kwa sababu mimi napenda mtu ambaye ananielezea kitu unaona mm-hmm. mm. so hakuna haja uniambie chukua hii na labda Mm. nitateseka baadaye mm. unaona mm. so mimi niliwachukua kwa very understanding mm. na wananijali pia wow. mm. that's a great one yeah. aibu sasa na life journey yako have you faced challenges because of your condition outside school outside school sasa kimaisha tu kimaisha unatamani kufanya lakini huwezi mm. fanya because of your condition 
sidhani apart kwa from your ICT sidhani kwa sababu unajua the moment mm. uko like uko, disab, uko disabled mm. unajikubali yes. na kukubali kujikubali mm. unajua kuna vitu ambazo unaweza fanya mm. na kuna vitu ambazo huwezi fanya yeah. kwa hivyo hapo si, sijapata ni challenge Uh-huh. Eh, Alright. Uh-huh. Na sasa and have you also been in a situation where people uh-huh. are too sympathetic? Maybe yes, sometimes you might need help, but uh-huh. sometimes unasema I can do it myself, uh-huh. but people insist they want to help you. How do you normally handle that? Eh, uh, unapata kala, kama uko nyumbani mm. ama labda uko kwa gari, mm-hmm. no, nikushikie bag, nikufanyie nini? Mm. Unaona? Mm. But namwambia hapana, naweza fanya, naweza fanya. Eh. Mm-hmm. Na mambo na <coughs> kupanda mat nini nini how is that wewe unafanya aje wewe kupanda mat hiyo yeah. ni challenge nyingine lakini sasa mm. what i do mm. naenda the main stage lakini ukiniambia ni pande mat kwa barabara mm. ambayo tu una, una, unaona zile mat ambazo tu unapanda una ikitembea hapo mm. hapana wewe hapana na waelewi eh na waelewi pia eh mhm all right And now before we go for a break I really want you to tell us a bit about what motivates you in life to push on to follow your career to pursue your dreams before we, do, we go for that break Kwanza ni my family wanani support sana mm-hmm. kitu ambacho ninahitaji nikiwaambia wananipatia mm-hmm. eh marafiki pia ambao niko na wao mm-hmm. pia wanani support mm-hmm. wananipatia courage wananipatia pia anything that i need na na kuna uwezo wa kunisaidia mm. wananisaidia pia so wanani motivate kabisa eh eh yeah. all right na sasa pia tukirudi after the break mm. we are going to understand after college after you are you pursuing to be a HR manager what next after the break back we are watching the voice with me habil machengo and now matter we were talking before we went for that break we were talking about your education life Tell us about now after joining a uh, college SPI what else happened So after ku join college nimesoma nimesoma nimemaliza mm-hmm. eh nilikuwa nimaliza 2020 but sababu ya COVID-19, COVID-19 mm-hmm. so tuka break kwenda nyumbani eh, our exams ka shiftiwa mm-hmm. hadi last year mm-hmm. so nilifanya exam last year on November mm-hmm. kaka November December So on January this year. Yeah, this year yeah. 2022. Mm. Sababu sikutaka nipate <coughs> challenges ambazo nilipata after kwa Malza form 4. Yeah. Nikaanza tu kuongea na marafiki zangu, ukisikia mm. mahali nakwambia kuna internship, unaniambia. Mm. So I have, I have I have a friend mm. niliongea naye kwa simu. Mm. Akaniambia wacha kuna sense media. Yeah. Eh, wa, wakianza kufanya ku, kuchukua watu, kuchukua watu mm. nitakwambia. Mm. So mimi nikagoja January kafika ikaisha. Mm. So now I had another friend yes. ambao akaniuliza yeah. una plan nini. Na kama mimi nikaza pata hata kan internship yeah. naweza fry ni kwa nimeongea na rafiki yangu. Eh mm. uh, niambia science mm. wanachukua. Wan, wanaweza chukua na so akakumbuka mm. ako na rafiki ambaye ni manager wa hapa Science TV. Mm. Managing director. Yeah, Jared. Oh Jared. Yeah. Uh-huh. akampigia simu akamuelezea niko na uh, PWD here uh-huh. na nataka internship ya HR yeah. akamwambia yes nafasi naweza patikana uh-huh. so akanituma huko uh-huh. na kaleta makaratasi yeah. so vile nileta makaratasi i met a lady called Daisy uh-huh. akaniambia nisubiri so nilikaa tu nilikuwa push nilikuwa push ni February imeisha nikulika na goza so sikuwa na hope nyingine You But before calling, eh? yeah before that pia uko uko dika nilitembea kwa makampuni mm-hmm. na hata makaratasi wananiambia watanipigia simu si receive simu so hapa tu ndo nilikuwa na hope peke yake mm-hmm. so akukua shida kukua na HR mm-hmm. na ni lazima nigoze HR akuje yeah. so one day Liza kaniambia goza wanafanya interview ya HR mm-hmm. wakichukua nitakwambia yes. so nikakaa feb kaisha eh, sasa tuko match kwa almost match kuisha Deza kanitumia namba ya yeah, HR. ya HR. Yes. Tukaongea na yeye akaniambia so starting from April mm. uje internship for three months. Yeah. Mm. Na even ndio ukapata internship. Na yeye ukapata internship. Science. Science Media Kenya Limited. Uh-huh. Mm. And I know looking at your life journey umepitia challenges kadhaa hapa mm. na pale. Mm. Na wakati wa kutafuta job mm. 
before upate hata internship mm. apa science tv ulikuwa mm. umetembea to various organizations mm-hmm. kulia ulikuwa na feel aje that awitwi unapiga simu awitwi did, did you feel like maybe it's because of your condition ndio maana hawakuiti ama kitu kama hiyo yeah i mean nil feel hivyo mm-hmm. nil feel maybe kwa sababu mm-hmm. unajua pia kuna organization mm-hmm. environment yao yeah. sio disability friendly no yeah. so hiyo ni kitu ambao ya kwanza nilifikiria mm-hmm. na na la pili unajua si kila mtu ambaye like Okay, na skill mtu ambaye anakubali uh, a PWD person. Mm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. But si ku give up. Mm. Mm. So ku give up mm. kwa sababu wacha nimenganye Mungu alikamtuu. Eh, yeah. Ni ukajipata science. Kabi- mm. Now li kwa enroll at Science TV. How is the experience here at Science TV? Experience iko sawa mm-hmm. kwa sababu mm. watu ambao nilipata hapa yeah. wana wanakubali nifanye nifanye mambo ambayo imenileta hapa na pia they understand yeah they understand kabisa mm-hmm. na na pia wananikubali unajua mnaweza pata mtu ambaye anakuelewa yeah. lakini anaja kukubali unaona yeah. eh mm-hmm. and maybe now unajua bado unaishi vika right eh. how do you ensure that you sustain yourself are you getting paid at science tv um, or if not how are you sustaining yourself to ensure that you keep on coming here to work okay silipu mm-hmm. Lakini kama vile nilikwambia niko na supportive family so my brother ni anashughulika uh, transport mm. yeah so ni wao ndio wanakusaidia mm. all right na sasa hebu nikuulize because of your condition mm-hmm. have you ever been depressed before Usha yuko kwa depression from childhood mpaka saa hii because of your condition maybe sometimes uh-huh. nikiangalia miaka ambayo nilimaliza shule till now mm. saa zingine naona sifai kuwa hapa na fa labda nimepata kazi mm. na fa labda niwe nimepata kwangu unaona mm. na pia nikiangalia marafiki ambao tulisoma na wao yeah. napata wengi wao walipata kazi wameendelea mm. wako na manyumba zao unaona mm. so sometimes na feel niko ni kama mm. something went wrong mm-hmm. mm. but you na handling aje that how did you handle that one ni prayers mimi napenda napenda maombi oh, kwanza religious. yeah uh-huh. so na mianga na semanga unajua kila kitu na inakonga na ni mipango ya Mungu mm. so nasema yote Mungu ako na sababu nifikie hapo nimefika mm. like vitu kama ni ku delay zi delay unaona yeah mm. uh-huh. na sasa as a grown woman <coughs> you might be having some ambition some goals you have set you want to achieve mm. what are some of them can you mind do you mind share yeah goals ya kwanza mm. na niazataka pia ni kwenda kwangu like my own house unaona nipate kazi ambayo ambapo nina earn pesa mm-hmm. pia niazataka pia kuwa na familia unaona mm-hmm. eh i was to ask you that particular question una <laughs> 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 bet <date>. no <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah okay mm-hmm. and who is your biggest motivation who is your biggest role model mimi kwangu mimi ndo role model wangu mimi mwenyewe wewe mwenyewe hakuna eh. ule mse unamwangalia unasema huyu kama ali make it mm. it motivates you to also push on in mm. life okay nilikuwa hivyo before mm. but unajua tu ni different pia huyu ako na challenges zake hata kama amefika mm. mahali amefika so mimi ndo role model wangu mimi mwenyewe wewe mwenyewe hakuna mm. mtu <coughs> looking up to no eh. mm okay mm. Now the government do you think the government is doing enough to support person with disability and have we benefited from the same before Sidai pata any benefit any support from maybe common national council No no uh, no Sidai pata any Nimejaribu kila kitu like wakati nilikuwa college nilikuwa najaribu kujezwa makaratasi mm. eh ni, like the scholarship za kunilipa maybe exam fees mm. but bado Sidai pata any feedback na uh, hizo pesa nasikia wanapewa nimejaribu kujaza sijaipata. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Now do you have goals in five years? What do you want to have achieved by five years up to na, from now? From now five years. Mm. Yeah, kama hizo tu nimekuambia. Mm. Nikuwa na kwangu, mm-hmm. nikuwa na kazi nikuwe na, na nikuwa na family. Hizo tatu. Hizo tatu. Mm. Okay. Now in terms of HR your career do you think you might want to advance as a upate job and do you have plans on that? Na joy it's part of your five mm. uh, five, five goals. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you have any plans on your career to improve? Eh yeah, nataka maybe after internship nipate kazi. Mm-hmm. Eh yeah, nipate kazi. Na labda after kupata kazi niendelea niendelea na masomo pia. Okay. Mm. 
hiyo ni poa sana eh, bado kuna vision kabisa and god willing eh. zita come through sawa asante yeah <laughs> sawa and maybe addressing that camera mm mm-hmm. or the camera behind me here mm-hmm. the camera behind me mm-hmm. address someone who was given up in life because of his physical condition his or her physical condition mm-hmm. well najua kuwa na disability ni kitu ngumu sana yeah. so number one lazima ujikubali mm-hmm. no matter what lazima ujikubali kwa sababu mm-hmm. mambo yajibadilika yeah. iwezi badilika mm-hmm. secondly mm-hmm. pia kwa mtu wa kuongea unajua wakati unapata una, una shida unanyamaza ndani hakuna yeah. vile unaweza saidika mm-hmm. so ongea ongea na watu mm-hmm. jitokelezee tembea tembea kwa hao watu uh, ambao ni govern- governors yeah. MPs MCs au mm. wamekuwa marafiki zangu na wao pia wamenisaidia nikafika mahali ambapo nimefika mm-hmm. so hiyo tu naweza pia my colleagues okay mm. thank you so much for accepting to come over for this discussion it has been a good one na i hope next time pia you are still available to ongea zaidi mm-hmm. to do progress ni aje mm-hmm. HR kunenda mm. aje yeah. okay thank you so much welcome <coughs> That has been Margaret Wangoi our guest you have just heard that inspiring story from her and in case you want to learn more from this show stay tuned for next week we still have more a new guest is going to come up again for a new story just to get a new experience a new uh, information concerning person with disability so stay tuned stay glued bye